What is going on everybody, Eric the Electric coming back to you guys again, my Electric Empire with another video and of course another food challenge. What's that? Hold on one second, I think I dropped something on the floor. I think it was like a piece of food or something. Oh, by the way, yeah, changed my hair. Man, I know a lot of people are going to have a lot of opinions on this like they did the last time I changed my hair, but... Oh well. Folks, I'm back with another food challenge, but more importantly, I'm back with another carp collection. In case you guys are new to the channel or you just don't know what carp collections are, carp collections are some of my favorite videos to film. Because here in America, we get new goodies all the time, practically every single week. New Oreos, new Pop-Tarts, new fast food items, new chips, new ice cream, you guys name it, we get it here. And my job as a foodie and a YouTuber is to bring it to your eyes. And my favorite part about carp collections is interacting with you guys as well. So I generally do that in the middle of the video. So that's just it, folks. It's time to get this carp collection started. Let's do this. You guys know it's essentials time. Health and fitness. Alrighty guys, we got our goods. Now it's time to go get our food. And we're back. I heard they got a delicious new item. It's actually not so new. They've had it on the menu before, but it was discontinued and they just brought it back. The Angry Whopper. Hi there. Uh, do you guys have your, your new Angry Whopper? You want the Angry Whopper? Yeah. Can I get two of those, please? Okay. Would you like anything else? Uh, can I get two large orders of fries? And that's going to do it today. I'm actually really, really excited to try this out. I've never had it before and I've eaten a lot of Burger King in my life. Ketchup? Um, can I get some ranch if possible? Thanks so much. Have a good day, guys. Alrighty, folks. We got our Burger King. Now it's time to get to our next destination. <laughs> And we're here at Little Caesars, people. I heard they have a bacon wrapped pizza and I gotta get it. Hey, no worries, take your time. Are you the one that does that uh, 5,000 calorie? Uh... I am. <laughs> Are you? Yeah. I see your uh, video every time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so what's your name? Hey, what's your name? Uh, Jeremy. Jeremy, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Can I get, uh, do you guys have any of your bacon wrapped steep dish pieces left? Uh, I have one I can put in, it'll be just 10 minutes. So... Okay, I'll get one of those pieces. Okay, yeah, they're really good. Okay, there you go. There's a lot. What can I say, people? It's always a good day when the, the good people at Little Caesars watch your video. This is awesome. I got my pizza. I got my goods. It's time to get this home and get this all presentable. Da -da -da, da -da -da. All right, guys. Welcome back to another video, folks. Welcome back to another carb collection. It's crazy, everybody, because guess what? Exactly a year ago, I did the April carb collection. You guys absolutely love that because... It's about to hit a million views, folks, and I'm just, I'm, I'm stoked that we started a little carb collection series. But, everyone, I need to know from you guys, before I get into all this, before I get into this food challenge, I need to know down below, folks, what do you guys want to see in the next carb collection? We got tons of great stuff here in America, tons of great new stuff, and I want to know from you guys, so let me know down in the comments below. Before I get into the swing things, though, people, you guys know, I got to change it to something a little bit more fitting. <sighs> Gotta love that magic trick. All right, all right, all right, guys, I know, I know. It's getting old. It's almost as bad as my new hair color. I just wanna say, folks, before I get into the swing of things, last year, whew, man, when I changed my hair color, it just seemed like all hell broke loose. Apparently, I look like Donald Trump. Apparently, I look like Ellen DeGeneres. I mean, I get that quite frequently from you guys, but uh, all these things I've never actually seen before just because a person changed their hair color. But uh, you guys, everyone's got their opinions. It's like the worst thing in the world when a YouTuber changes their hair color, apparently, but I'm not gonna get into it anymore, guys. You guys already have your opinion, but I'm gonna do me, all right? I'm gonna do me. Now, enough blabbering. It's time to get this all unwrapped and get it all presentable. I'm so excited for these people. These are limited edition Game of Thrones Oreos, all right? Now, I know you guys, I know, I know you guys are, no, no, no. I know you guys are super excited about the new season, all right? Who out there loves Game of Thrones as much as I do, all right? Who's your favorite character? You guys gotta let me know down in the comments below, but I'm super excited to try those out. And we have Peep's Cereal. All right, guys, I know you saw the Easter challenge. Hopefully you did. If you didn't, go check that out from last week, then come back to this video. If you guys did see that, you guys will know I'm not the biggest Peeps fan, but Mrs. Electric and I did try that out on our channel, The Electrics, and we loved it. It was absolutely sensational. So you know what? I thought I'd put it in this video. We also have Reese's Thins. These are brand new. These just came out, and I'm actually super excited to try these out. And another thing that just came out are the Hazelnut M&Ms. I've heard these taste exactly like Nutella, and yes, it is Nutella, not Nutella. Every time I say Nutella, everyone's like, Eric, you're wrong. You suck. You suck. It's Nutella. It's Nutella. Guys, Google it, all right? Just Google it. The answer's right there. I say that every single time people think they're correcting me. It's like, no. Almost forgot, guys. Well, this isn't a part of the challenge. I'm gonna get my aminos in. Three hour ride today, everyone. Goodness gracious, I don't want my muscles to waste away what little muscle I do have. You guys have to give these a shot. It tastes literally like sour Skittles infused in BCAAs. They're amazing. Go check out Final Boss Performance. 
and there is one angry whopper. I'm pretty sure it's angry because it has jalapenos on it. If that's the case, I'm just gonna have to take one for the team and I'm gonna be eating these jalapenos, all right? That's why we have ranch. It helps mitigate the spice. Are you serious right now, Burger King? Goodness gracious, is this amateur hour or something? That's a large? I thought we were having bigger portion sizes here in America. That's a joke. All right guys, and the final item, I just wanna let you all know that I've had it before. It's not so new, and I always feature new items in the card collection challenges. But guys, I had this for the first time back in 2015 when I filmed my first 30,000 calorie challenge. That was absolutely nuts. But this item right here, people, was my favorite item in that challenge. Just wait for it. Woo, my goodness gracious, just look at it. Look at it, are you looking? Look more, look harder, because this thing is absolutely legendary, guys. We have deep dish pizza from Little Caesars, we have pepperoni, we have bacon bits on top, and it's all wrapped in bacon. Don't you just love it? Woo! And it's so much better, because it does not have pineapple on it. I'm blown away at the presentation of this pizza right now. And honestly, guys, big shout out to uh, the gentleman at, at Little Caesars for, for watching the videos. And they also gave me a card for free crazy bread. I could probably use this for the next calorie challenge. Did I say too much? Did I say too much? Who can guess what's coming soon? Let me know down in the comments below. Before we get to all this, folks, I gotta inform Instagram and Snapchat and let them know what I'm doing right now. If you guys haven't followed me yet, you guys can follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. Get the sneak peek. Get the sneak peek first, and I just might put you in a video. Snapchat crew, next video, everybody. Like I said, guys, follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. Eric you watch And also, you guys gotta follow me on Twitch as well because I've been streaming my Fanny off lately, I can't believe I just said Fanny. I've been streaming World of Warcraft like crazy lately and it's been a great time. So you guys gotta come over to my Twitch channel, come play games with me, come watch me play games, come interact with me because I love interacting with you guys. It's one of the best parts about having the job that I have. Now that we've gotten that all of the way, people, I can let you guys know right now, my Electric Empire, that the total calories for this entire April Carb Collection Challenge, those are gonna be listed like right there for you guys. And because I gotta do this, people, we're all about health and fitness on this channel, all right? We gotta know the total macros of this challenge in front of us. Total macros, that means protein, carbs, fat, sodium, and sugar. Those are gonna be listed like right there for you guys. This is the April Carb Collection Challenge. Let's do this. Alrighty guys, we're gonna get this challenge started, get underway. You guys know, before we get started with everything, you guys gotta give the video a like, if you poop today. You guys know, well actually I didn't last week, but I did today for sure. Like always, I have no idea what I wanna start with first. Got a lot of deliciousness on this table like we always do. We're gonna go with our waters first. Bread, bacon, and let's see if the jalapenos right there. I don't even know what they put on here. I don't even know what this is. I guess we'll find out here in a second. I'll put that in like always. Ladies and gentlemen of the Electric Empire, it's time to get this challenge started. Let's do this. Oh my goodness gracious. You guys know, that's fire. Wow. Without a doubt, one of the best burgers I've ever had in Burger King. Wow. And ladies and gentlemen, I think I found the jalapenos. Jalapenos, otherwise known as jalapenos. It's pretty hot, but it's not overwhelming though, which is good. You knew it was coming. You knew it was coming. You gotta ranch rise people every single time. It's a way of life. It's very, very important. All right, guys. Well, our jalapeno burgers are down. Now I think we gotta get into these fries right here. You know, and I've, I've talked about fries a lot on this channel. I've expressed my love for fast food fries. I've expressed my love for McDonald's, but I've not expressed my love enough for Burger King fries. And they are absolutely sensational. They're just basically really, really salty, and I love salty. Fire! One box of fries is down, and of course, I forgot to get napkins. I always forget something. I always forget something. I'm gonna get them really quick. Right back. <sighs> fail to prepare, prepare to fail. Basically, right? You don't bring plates to the party, just think outside the box. Actually, technically think inside the box because you're eating fries and they come in a box. Nice. All right, guys. Well, our two fries are down. I gotta say, guys, Burger King fries are amazing. I love them so much. You guys know I love my fries. Okay, I love McDonald's fries. I love In-N-Out fries, and I love Burger King fries. I just think Burger King fries are so underrated. Now, 
I think it's time to move over into our Little Caesars deep dish pizza. Ladies and gentlemen, it is an absolute work of art. When I bit into this for the first time back in 2015, my mind was blown. It was absolutely blown. Just look at that. It's got the perfect amount of pepperoni, bacon bits, dough, bacon, more bacon, and more and more and more and more bacon. Guys, it's a work of art, right? It's an absolute work of art. Let's do this. You guys already know. W! Oh! W moment! Woo! Amazing, dude! Absolutely amazing. You guys knew it was coming. You knew it was coming. Ranch and pizza is amazing. That's right. You'll see it yourself. Quadruple fire! Well, half of our pizza is down. I gotta say so far, it's been absolutely amazing. This is actually like one of those challenges where if I was to come up with like a dream challenge that I wanna do, it's got a bit of everything. It's got some saltiness, it's got some sweetness, it's got cereal, it's got Oreos, it's got ranch, it's got pretty much everything I want. I actually should probably do a challenge like that. Like a dream challenge. Like an actual legit one. Where I actually think about everything I wanna put in it. If you guys wanna see that, let me know down in the comments below. Now everybody, it's come to the point in the time of the video where I gotta give you guys a little shout out. So I asked my Snapchatters to ask me whatever they wanted. Hopefully there will be no nudes this time. Yeah, the boys, Eric, Electric, let's go, baby! Hey, go, my baby. man's watching the, the last uh, last food challenge. I'm from New Zealand. I'm currently watching your keto video. video. I love you. I want to eat as much food as you. No, you... I have the money for that, so. No, you don't want to eat as much food as, as me. Hey, you know what, guys? Okay, everybody that says they wish they could eat like this, no, you don't. Because you don't see what happens off camera and the amount of hunger I go through on a daily basis. It's not fun. Can't, can't do the filters. What's your favorite piece of merch that you've ever made? My favorite piece of merch I've ever made? Well, co Copper 1-3. I would have to say the coffee cups were my favorite pieces of merch that I've ever made. You guys can get some down below. It's because I love coffee and you guys should love coffee too. It's amazing. Tacos from Taco Bell or Jack in the Box? Taco Bell or Jack in the Box. You guys, if you haven't checked out Jack in the Box's tacos yet, they're amazing. They used to be a dollar for two. Now they're like $1.49, which is ridiculous, but I still love them. How many calories do you have a day? If I had a nickel for every time someone asked me that question, I'd probably be a millionaire right now. Uh, I don't track my calories right now, but if I'd have to estimate, probably about 1,800 on off days where I'm not doing all this. Hey, Eric, what sports did you play in high school? It's probably gonna make you guys think I'm super lame. Well, actually, lamer than you think I am already with this blonde hair, but I played golf in high school. I played ultimate frisbee. I'm <laughs> just kidding, I didn't play ultimate frisbee. That would be... Nothing against people that play Ultimate Frisbee or anything, but yeah, we just, I won't finish that. But, uh, no. Just wait for that crunch though, wait for it. Oh yeah. All right guys, well, all of our deep dish pizza is down. Our pizza is down. Now we have our Oreos left. We have our M&Ms. We have our Peeps. I think we gotta get to our Peeps next. I love cereal. Cereal is amazing. You should love it. Everyone should love cereal. They're so sweet. And they taste nothing like Peeps. Okay, because Peeps aren't good. If I haven't said that enough already, gotta get our cashew milk. Of course, 25 calorie cashew milk, because why waste calories on full fat cashew milk, right? Look at that, people, it's got little marshmallow bits in it. I just get so excited when I see cereal. Oh my goodness, just look at it, guys. It looks absolutely amazing. Effort, determination, health, and fitness. Let's do this. It tastes just as good as the first time I tried it. That is a triple fire moment. Woo, amazing. You guys know I love my cereal. Let's get this ranch out of here. Two conflicting flavor profiles, nothing. I know, I always spill some. I just, I still, I know a lot of you had opinions last week about the, the Reese's cereal that I had, you know, saying, Eric, you need to put the bowl closer to you so you don't spill any. This is my preferred way to eat cereal for you guys, all right? At least I'm eating it. Eric Electric, I have a question for you. Um, yeah, I, sorry, man, I have, a, <laughs> I have a time limit on these snaps. Would you go Apple or Android for a phone? Oh, Apple or Android? Is that even a question? Team Apple. Who else is like me? Team Apple, down below. When you 
teams could be with WWE slash WWE. WWE. And if you did, who was your favorite wrestler? That's a great question. And Sanders 8712, my favorite wrestler was Rey Mysterio because he's from San Diego. Now I don't really watch WWE or WWF, whatever it's called. You should definitely do a video where you eat only. I love you guys very much, but really just all you got to do is search Eric the Electric, whatever you want to see. You can search, for example, like the UK food thing, you can search Eric the Electric UK. And I've got two videos on that already. We love you. W O W. I love you guys very much. I love you all. So awesome. In case you guys were wondering, what the cereal tastes like, it's really, really hard to describe. It's just very, very, very sweet. I don't really know how to describe it. it. It's very amazing though. It doesn't taste anything like fruity cereal. I don't like fruity cereal, fruity pebbles, fruit loops, all that crap is garbage, okay? I know I'm offending a lot of people right now, but you guys should let me know what kind of cereal you guys like. I, I just realized I'm probably gonna get so much hate, but oh well, I always do. Always, 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 always. Deliciousness, deliciousness, deliciousness. All right, guys, it's basically just a bowl of milk at this point. I don't even know where the rest of my napkins went. Oh, I know this could be avoided. I know it could. Our cereal is down now. We got to get into these Reese's spins right here. Now, I tried. I think we tried the dark chocolate version, but these are actually surprisingly good. It just came out here in America. And before you guys come at me right now and, and say, Eric, why would you get something that's labeled as a diet food, all right? Sometimes we gotta watch our calories around here, all right? See, I'm watching. I gotta say though, my favorite M&M of all time has to be the crispy M&Ms. Oh, those are amazing. Okay, that gets a double fire for me. Right, guys well all of our M&Ms are down now last but not least I think it's time to get into these limited edition Game of Thrones Oreos right now before we break into these though I need to ask you guys now I need to have a little conversation with you okay I try to I try to do that as much as possible in these videos but I need to let you guys know that my favorite character in Game of Thrones has got to be Tyrion Lannister what's your favorite character in Game of Thrones okay Woo! you got a dragon or what looks like a dragon on that Oreo cracker boom that is amazing right there that is absolutely amazing. There's nothing on the inside. It just looks like a normal oil, yeah, but oh well. You guys know. That's fire. Always fire. This is why I keep a bowl of milk around to right. Optimal dunking time. It's gotta be three seconds or less. You guys know. Well, everyone, all I can say right now is my man Jon Snow will be very, very proud of me. Very proud of me. Whew. And just like that, everyone, that has been another challenge in another carbon collection. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know down in the comments below, people. I want to hear from you guys. I also want to hear what you guys want to see next. Also, stay tuned for next week's video because, everyone, we're going to be in Vegas next week. And I've got some awesome challenges that I want to do there. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell, people, right next to that subscribe button so you guys can notify whenever a future upload happens. Follow me on my social media, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. You guys know the drill. Thanks again for watching the video, everybody. Roll it.